Hello, 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 this is Rich Kale here on YouTube, Rich Gen X elsewhere, and it is time to continue the playthrough of Stasis. Okay, am I ready for this this morning? I don't know. <laughs> well, it's morning when I'm recording this, you're watching this in the afternoon. How do I know? Because this will premiere, this premiered at 3 p.m. Okay. So where did we leave off? We had just gotten up here to a security office, I think. Notice. It's right down to the fall tolerance system is now an That voice is freaking me out. But anyhow, let's see. So we left off. Got through our cryo chamber. Get through that. Security area and crew. Okay. Crew come. Well, let's go to the commons. Oh boy. Once we know where Becker is, how can I get to her? There is another tram through the crew quarters. Once we know where you're going, we'll move forward from there. More oh, trams. Okay. What? God forgive us. Okay. Definitely. There's a dead body there. Sick of this bumps and scrapes bullshit. Getting sick of this bumps and scrapes bullshit. I did not didn't get this degree just so that I could stitch idiots up when they accidentally stab themselves with a pen. I want to do more do fun experiments. Is that too much to ask? It's not like I want to be a mad scientist and sew new arms onto people or anything. Although human spiders would be cool. No, they wouldn't. December 7th. It's a miracle. Security somehow ended up passing a container from one of the cloning bats onto me. It's labeled Samantha. I understand it to be transferred to lab 18, right? Oh, well, no reason I can't observe it for a while, right? I'll have my loyal assistant, Miriam, make me up some good excuse, make up some good excuses for me. 8. The creature, this creature is marvelous. The notes included don't say much, but I'm pretty sure that she didn't have a fully formed spine when they packaged this girl up. Ugh. Describes her as being just as a just a tail. There's some other bones as well, but I didn't major in monster anatomy. I wish I had, though. You can't make this shit up. The Sephir Groot. Eyes. I mean it. December 10th. She did not have these the last time I checked. They are rudimentary, sure, but they just grew. They follow me around. At this point, I'm going to take credit for Samantha entirely. I mean, they can't prove that there was anything more than some stem cells in that container the last they saw it, right? From now on, Samantha is mine. I can't wait to see what she turns into. Lab 18 is definitely getting suspicious and impatient. I'm running out of excuses for why I haven't transferred Samantha yet. I need Miriam to stall a bit longer. I read her PDA, so I know she wants to turn me in. She wants my job. Fortunately, I have video of her screwing the guys from the lab, all of them. So they're my job there's my job security. 19. This just got serious. The tremors knocked me over the counter, and I twisted a muscle in my knee. It's going to be a long lockdown spent bandaging people up without any access to the full medical wing. December 21st. Samantha isn't mine anymore. Some other poor, poor fool can take responsibility for this one. 29th. I heard shrill screams coming from the entertainment area. At first, 
first and last time I performed surgery, the patient woke up and started screaming her head off. Something about seeing your own exposed ribs really bothers people. Yeah! Anyway, these screams were like that, only more intense. They're the screams of the dying. I locked the emergency bulkhead. No sign of Miriam. Okay! Okay, we got the dead body. <sighs> oh boy, that's freaky deaky, I'll tell you that. Very freaky deaky. Okay. Okay. A DNA scanner. Hey, okay. Okay. Let's see. I mean, it's not very safe right now, but, you know. Excellent. You need to get your blood sample onto the receiving tray. And uh, I'll do the rest. All right. Okay, it's working. Receiving the genetic info. This is good, John. This is excellent. Saw something. Do I want to? Sure. Scan's finished. Secondary containment is now accessible. Head through to the other tram station. Okay. Oh good, at least this is <laughs> hopefully a lot safer. I don't know how safe anything is here. Warning. Serotonin levels are abnormal. Oh my god, sleep... What the hell is this? I mean, honestly, this is freaking messed up, I'll be honest. Okay. Uh, non operation no. Entertainment. Locked. Uh, it's locked. Great. Seeing frequent use. Good God. Dead tree. Dang it. One frown tree is withered and died. Can't go that way. Scratch marks. Something was trying to get in. Okay, let's go over here to. Yeah. Oh, there's a security panel. No. 
Looks like gas. Okay. Well, let's go to the mess hall. Yeah, deliver the scares. Thank you. God damn it. I'm using a walkthrough, and this is freaking now. I've been starting using a walkthrough in an early episode. Oh, Mother shit. Had a that was covered Hello? In fat. Father had a tongue that was also black. Is anyone there? They didn't care for us. We didn't care for them. And so it happened again and again. Skin like a crocodile, and eyes like sin. The RG consumed them from within. Bodies and flies. Let's check these. Oh, I got a bed sheet. Nice. Dead body. I'll never get used to this. Harry Walden. Bay one bay that bleh, bleh. May first. Bell says she's fine, but I'm gonna keep an eye on her. May three, I had a nightmare that Bell killed herself, so I checked on her just to be sure. I hope I didn't wake her. Grant wouldn't have checked on her. That doesn't know how to care for a lady, not a lady like Bell. June 17th. I sure hope nobody catches me growing these herbs. The space is so empty and cold, and Belle seems like she needs the comfort. I don't care if I get caught, but if I did get caught, Belle would know that I'd truly do anything for her. July 4th. Belle seems super frustrated today. I stopped asking her what was wrong because she got really mad at me the other day when I did that. I feel like I'm making her angrier every time I speak to her. She's upset, and I can't do anything about it. July 5th. She spoke to me today. I'm so glad everything is okay. I lost so much sleep over her last night. If she only knew, she'd feel so special. Grant keeps bringing his goddamn cat into the sleeping block. I'm allergic, and he knows it. I shouldn't need a shot of epi epinephrine every time I go to bed. He thinks he's a badass because he managed to sneak a cat on board. Bell probably thinks he's cool too. He's so cool. Why can't she see that? He's a total. September 23rd. I decided to stay on the Gro Groom Lake so that I could be with Bell. I don't like it here, but I love her. 24th. Some guy in engineering says that there's a fungus on the ship. I wonder if it's poisonous. If it is, I bet I could hijack a lifeboat to fly Bell home. The fungi, the fungi is all over in hydroponics. I have an idea, though. What if we engineer another invasive fungus to take out the alien one? I honestly don't think it'll work. I suggested it as a joke at first, but Bell thought it was a great idea, so now we have to do it. 19. Grant's been following Bell and I everywhere. I know she thinks he can keep her safe. But I know he can't. He's so full of himself. 22. I think Grant's cat died during the tremors and the chaos. Good effing riddance. The guy's been sobbing for almost a day now. Maybe now Belle will understand that he's not fit to protect her. I've sobbed too if my cat died. 
I think I'd die for Bell. It's pretty much been established that something's running around and killing people. I'm going to fight it when I see it. It'll only get to Bell over my dead body. She'll die knowing that I gave my life just to tack a couple of seconds onto hers. Okay. This is definitely poor bastard. Looks like he didn't even manage to get out of his bunk. Grant Peterson, April twenty fourth. You know what's worse than being a janitor? Being a space janitor. Obviously, he never met Roger Wilco. The I literally have to put up with is unbelievable. I mean, it, my job is to control the recycling of methane expulsion from human waste. Shitty is an understatement. Plus, I can barely understand my co-worker. I think he's Polish, but he only speaks Spanish. Polish and Spanish are two different languages. June 20th. Isabella has been talking to me. I hope she doesn't have any ideas. I'm really not into that. Even if she was a guy, she's just so difficult to deal with. I think she purposely leaves some shadow of a doubt that she might have some feelings for Harry. Just so that he'll hang around. The poor guy's obsessed. It's creepy, but it's also the teeniest bit sweet. I think Jupiter's finally done growing. She was such a cute little kitten. Now she's big and doesn't cuddle anymore. Harry's allergic. He thinks that I keep Jupiter around just to mess with him. Really, I don't. She gets in the way sometimes, but she's the only living thing that really understands me. I love that little kitten. Big kitten. Aww. July 2nd. Isabella smacked Harry straight across the face today. I think he called her a pet name to her face. I wouldn't have been flattered. Poor guy. August 11th. Everything is so uneventful around here. Maybe that's a good thing. I've been trying to talk to Isabella to see if she's interested in Harry. I don't think so, but I want to make sure. It would help me sleep a little better. Interdepartmental pool to win 64 days of leave. What a joke. Kitchen, security, and maintenance aren't even eligible. When they're the ones that keep the ship running. Oh, wait. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> October 29th. The fungus shit is everywhere. It's already in the methane collection plan. Shelby's such a cow. She says she hopes it gives me cancer. But that way, I could start over with new organs courtesy of Cane Corp. Of course. I told her that there was only one organ I really wanted. But that Harry was too busy following Isabella. Shelby said, Oh, it all makes sense now. You go, girl. But I'm not a girl. Could have been worse. I just hope she can keep a secret. I don't want everyone involved in my business. Ah! Now well, that makes sense. November 13th. This mushroom plan that hydroponics came up with is not working. If anything, it's made, it's made life in the plant just a little more grueling. November 19th. People have been complaining to me about weird smells coming from the vents. I swear it's not the plant. I can smell it too. Okay. That 20, emergency rations. I stuck some food to Jupiter first. She was acting a little loopy. I noticed just today that Harry has been has the most adorable way of stuffing his face. He always inspects whatever he's about to eat before he takes a bite. Then shoves as much in his mouth as he can. Ah, the simple things. December 18th. Power's out in places around the ship. Hopefully the plant is next. That sure wouldn't end well. I haven't seen Jupiter since the tremors. I can only make assumptions. Oh god, I hope she's safe. I don't want Harry to get hurt in all of this either. He's such a little guy. I've been following Isabella around to get closer to Harry and make sure he's okay. I don't know what's going on, but suddenly it doesn't matter whether or not he could ever care about me. December 22nd. Those guys who went to work on Station B haven't come back yet. I've been trying to sleep as much as I can now so I can stay on my toes when everything goes to hell. 
I cry a little as well, partially because of Jupiter, and partially for reasons I don't understand. December 24th. I don't want to burden Harry by telling him about how I feel. I know it will just confuse and upset him. I'm really hopeful that we'll all make it out of here. But Shelby's pessimism is contagious. I don't know. Will I ever have so another chance to open my heart to someone? I have to hope so. I just can't tell Harry. Well, damn. Grant had the hots for Harry. Harry had the hots for Isabella. Okay. Well, that was a very interesting uh, discovery about people. All right, what's in here? Oh, God. That's weird sound. Isabella Spaulding. Ah, this is Bella. Okay. Another long day in hydroponics. I planted carrots today. The place seriously sucks, but I figure the longer I work for Cane Corp, the sooner they'll be able to replace this defective uterus of mine. Ouch. Harry is protective, and not in a cute way. I make... Makes me feel like a little uncomfortable. His attempts to get, protect my honor, his words, whenever Grant even looks at me, are unnervingly familiar. Just like my ex husband used to do. I'm not ready for another round of that bullshit. Ugh. May 25th. Half of the ship has been on lockdown for two long weeks. Apparently, some new scientists boarded today, so maybe they'll be able to resolve this issue. But what do I know? I make vegetables reproduce for a living. Five eight, whatever that. Oh one two three five. Oh, that's a Fibonacci sequence. Oh one, that should have been one there. Two three five eight. Yeah. June twentieth. I have to admit, Harry's whole stalker thing can be great sometimes. He is growing herbs for me so that I can make tea. With all of this new security bullshit, I wouldn't dare use company resources personally like that. I've been pretending to like Grant just a little bit. I don't... I don't... But it keeps Harry on his toes. September 23rd. Harry opted to stay on the room leg for another round. He was eligible to leave at the shift change, but he chose to stay. Gee, I wonder why he'd do that. He's a grown man, for goodness sake. But he's acting like a lovesick teen. He needs to stop effing calling me Belle, though. It's Isabella, like the Queen of Spain. Oh, well, yeah, makes sense. Uh, October 30th. I keep hearing chatter about a fungal growth spreading all over the Groom Lake. Let's hope it doesn't get here to hydroponics. I'd be devastated if anything happened to my precious celery. November 1st. Spoke way too soon. I came into Hydro today to find everything coated in the strange fungus. Harry actually had a pretty good idea. What if we fought the fungus with genetically enhanced super mushrooms? Number 14. Nope. Crossbreeding mushrooms did not improve things. Hopefully the emergency rations will get here soon. Unless people want to eat the por portobellos from hell, that is. This shit is about to get dangerous. December 19th, people have been beaten up. Some are even dead. We've seen a lockdown before, but it wasn't a mass panic like this. Will it be over soon, or ever? Harry told me to stay in the sleeping block because it could be dangerous outside. You know, I have taken care of myself for 28 years without help from Harry. I think I can handle myself. 
December 24th. I'm not going to spend the final days of my life playing the helpless female. I'm not going to cling to Harry, even if he's the last human being I'll ever see. He can't expect anything from me. Well, that was very interesting. What's this PDA going to do? Tell me. Let's see what it has. Shelby in a set. Shelby Isaacson. Isaacson, yep. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, she's gonna be... I couldn't even be bothered to get out of bed today. Nobody came asking questions, though, so that works. Sometimes when I first wake up, I wait as long as possible to say my first word of the day. Then that word serves as a prediction for how, of how shitty that day is going to be. Naturally, Isabella woke me up by asking if I'd rather F. Grant or Harry. I thought she was supposed to be some kind of feminist who doesn't need a man. Hypocrite. To answer the question, I'd need to do a bit of research. Harry will suffice for that. May 14th. I guess I'm obligated to write about the ship lockdown since it's all life-threatening or something. I don't know why we even carry these PDAs. Seriously, I will never go back and read this shit. The Groom Lake got a 300% funding increase, and I have a feeling we're doing some sh more shady bullshit with it. Welcome aboard the Groom Lake, where as far as the universe is concerned, you don't exist, and as far as the board is concerned, you don't exist. Nothing actually exists. Humanity's gonna flip it when they finally figure that out. October 29th. So Grant's gay. I knew I'd seen him checking Harry out. Lips are sealed. November 2nd. It's going to be a long, painful death if we don't get those rations soon. I might have to start murdering and eating my block maidens. I'll start with Grant because he's got the most meat on him. Harry is last because I'm in no hurry to put my mouth on that again. Okay! November 10th. Hey, someone's making some booze. Humanity has truly reached the apex of engineering. Space moonshine. It brings a smile to my eye and a tear to my heart. Get me some. November 11th. Taste. 0 out of 10. Effectiveness. 10 out of 10. This stuff has to be at least 120 proof. I had to do something I totally don't regret to get it, and it was worth it. Liquor supply is running low. Food supply is high. I'm disappointed. Here I was thinking I'd be enjoying moonshine marinated leg of Grant this evening. Disappointing. At least I didn't starve. December 19th. On the one hand, something exciting happened. On the other hand, we're probably going to die or something. I have no regrets. Not even that thing I did to get the moonshine. I don't want to know what she did to get the moonshine. December 25th. I've been thinking about it over the last couple of days, and I... Sincerely can't think of anything I regret. Not hooking up with La Harry? Not pursuing music instead of physics? Nothing. It was all part of what made my life mine. Life carries on no matter what, so I guess it's best to just be satisfied with what little I did accomplish. The universe swallows you atom by atom eventually. You know, I'm proud of how far those atoms made it from when they first got together to form Shelby Isaacson to where they are now. Alrighty. Torn up floor grate. Sleeping cot. Alright. Well, I guess there's only one course of action now. That will complete here, and that's, uh... Using this to go down. Okay, now let's see what I can do. Yep. Well, I'm gonna do a quick save here because we're getting close to the end of the video here. Actually, I'm gonna save it right here and we'll save, uh, we'll do this next time where we climb down into the next area, which is called the sewers, according to the walkthrough. 
As always, this is Rich Kale here on YouTube, Rich Gen X elsewhere, inviting you to subscribe to the channel and check out all the game playthroughs I have up on the channel. They premiere at 3 p.m. Eastern every day in a two-week cycle. Uh, amongst these, I am working on uh, playing Quake, which I'm actually soon going to be finishing, I think. Unavowed, which again, I also think we'll be finishing soon. The Zork franchise, currently on Return to Zork, the last in the series chronology. And that's the way I've been playing them, in the chronological order. I am done. I am working my way through, uh... Spell, the Spellcasting series, currently on Spellcasting 101, Sorcerers Get All the Girls. I am working my way through Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine. I am working my way through Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. And I do runs through the game of Monstrum amongst the stuff that premieres at 3 p.m. Eastern every day. Also, at 10 a.m., usually Tuesday through Saturday, sometimes on Mondays, I have stuff that premieres. Uh, Tuesday is usually a fic reading. Wednesday is uh, Final Fantasy. If, if I'm not still on 7 right now, I'm probably on one of the other first 7 games. On uh, Thursday, it's usually Dead by Daylight. Sometimes I put Monster 2 up. Uh, Friday is usually a fighting game ladder mode. And Saturday is a retrospective for a game I beat. So until next time, I want you all to take care, have fun all, and goodbye.